In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace a dying battery in a V-Series Dyson vacuum cleaner. And we're going to do it right now. So if the reason that you found this video is you searched for it and you need to replace the battery, then this video is going to be perfect for you. And if you just happen to click on it, popped up in your feed and you're just interested, this vacuum is the best vacuum I've ever had. Uh, it was a gift and this one is a V8 and this process is going to work for the whole V series or it should be very similar, um, but it's made for pet hair. So if you have a pet, I highly recommend this vacuum. Um, not here to sell a vacuum, but just letting you know that it is awesome. Since it was a gift and I didn't pay for it, I didn't realize how expensive it is. Um, again, I've had it for like three years and typically vacuums, you know, don't last that long. Um, so the only thing is, is the battery is not lasting as long as it used to. But I looked up on the Dyson website and the battery was $150 alone. So in order to save money, uh, I went on Amazon and I found a battery, the exact same design for about $50. So just so you know, you can get the regular Dyson that's made for this. It's probably better. It'll probably last longer, but for $50, you can get this and it came with two filters, which is awesome. One more thing to note before we start is the reason for replacing this battery. Uh, like I said, it was just starting to die. So every time I would use it, it would last less and less as long. Um, so before I do this, this is fully charged and I'm gonna show you how long this will run compared to when I replace the battery. So I'm gonna set it up on its own so it'll just run and um, see how long it'll go. That was quick. Dead. Less than a minute. To start, you wanna pull this lever and empty it the way you normally would, like this. Then on the bottom here, there's this little latch right here that you wanna pull on this way. And you can pull this thing right down and off. All right, we're already halfway there. Now there's just two Phillips screws, one here and one here, and you're gonna take those out. Now there's just one more screw right here, kind of hidden, and take that one out. All right, now those screws are out. You just slide the battery right out. And there's the new one. Same thing. Slide it in. Lines up. Put your screws back in. All these screws are the same size, so don't have to worry about mixing them up. I'm gonna start them all in first. And then tighten them up. All right. Now you can take your canister and it goes like this and then drops down and kind of pushes up until it locks in. You can Snap that back into place, close the bottom, and you're good to go. And since the kit came with filters, uh, I'll show you how to replace that. It's super difficult. Just kidding. You just grab this, pull it up. There's the old filter. Grab your new one, pop it right into place. So let's see how long this 
fully charged battery will last. Got to charge it first. And then we'll see compared to the old one. So that battery lasted eight times as long as the one that was in there before. So if I was actually vacuuming and using the, um, the piece for the floor and everything, it probably wouldn't have lasted as long as that, but way better than it was before. If you needed to replace the battery in a Dyson V-Series vacuum, I hope this video helped you out. And hopefully the recommendation of a really good pet hair vacuum, this Dyson V8 helps you out. I really appreciate you watching. If you want to see more content, you can click here and here-ish and subscribe if you haven't already, if you're interested in my content, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.